Hello. Hello. <laughs> Which one are we looking at? This that one? one. This one. Okay. We need a little tally light. Oh yeah, we should we should just put like little numbers on them. Be like one, yeah. two. Yeah. Camera one. Camera two. That's a good idea. It's like the same shot, but this one. is a drink station camera. Yes. My favorite. <laughs> uh, so tonight we're doing a Mexican and Puerto Rican night. Yes. We're it's doing be gorditas awesome. and tostones and beans. Yes. So we are doing uh, a nice little this one. Okay. <laughs> So we're doing, Kale is uh, taking control of the gorditas for today. He's been actually practicing them. We practiced them yesterday. Doing a really good job at it. Um, I'm going to be making Mama Nelly's uh, Puerto Rican uh, red beans, my favorite. It's one of my uh, go-to faves of growing up and living in Berlin and just eating out of the big yeah. thing of rice. And it's seriously, it's so simple and it's... Hi guys, we love you. Hi. We love you too. Um, Why does it look so good? Um, because, I don't know, we got a different little setup yeah. today. Yeah. What's up, chicken? Hey. And I'm for a drink, we're making pina coladas, my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't forget. It's really easy to make a pina colada without using, like, a, a traditional, like, mix. Oh, and yeah. And they taste so much better. A hundred percent better. Literally night and day. Mexo, mex, Mexican night. It is Mexican night, and this is <laughs> all of me. <laughs> I am a epitome of a of a Mexican. <laughs> so the gorditas, um, what are they? It's like kind of like a taco, right? It's made yeah. with the same kind of. Um, so it's it's a, a masa, a corn masa. So you use that um, margarine, and it's very soft, kind of doughy like, but it kind of crumbles in your hand because of the, the starchiness from the corn. Um, but instead of pressing it super thin like a tortilla, you make little small pucks of it and you don't completely press them all the way down where it's thin like a, like a, like a traditional tortilla. You give it a little bit of body um, so you can kind of scorch them in the center and stuff them. They're so, amazing. So yeah, this is the corn masa, which is basically translates out to corn flour. Yeah. So yes. they, they grind it up. Um, the corn, after, and then they combine it with lime, but not like the tradition, not like the lime, like lime juice. It's yeah. like the, I don't know what it actually so is, but it gives from, it that kind of sour flavor. Yeah, so what I've learned is that when, especially when they're breaking down the corn, when they're making tortillas, they use um, this like acid and it, it helps like break down the proteins, like the, the carbohydrates, I guess you would say. And I'm not too fluent with it, but I know it helps break it down and makes it a really nice so soft um, c consistency because if you break down a regular corn, it's not gonna be nothing like that. You have so to So then you have this and it's just kind of like a... Like a, like like a, a dough, dry, it's like, like a dough. dough. Like a dry, like crumbly dough. And basically you roll them up, you squish them with a plate, which I didn't take out. It's okay, we'll get there later. And, um, and then and then you can either um, grill them on a, on a stove. You, we usually do it like on a cast iron. Yeah. But I don't have a cast iron. What's up, Fresh? Hey. How's it going? Oh, hi, Barley. <laughs> uh, or, you can de or you can deep fry them. So then we're going to deep fry them. And then you slice them. They're they, kind of like this. You slice them down the middle, and they're kind of like pockets. You stuff them in. Like a pita, right? It's kind of like a pita. Yeah, they're yeah. small. They're like about this big. Um... So I see what's the magic word or the secret word, sorry. I want to see it from scratch, packing, picking, picking the, the corn, corn and all. all. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were going to make the, the masa from from the actual, the corn flour, but we didn't. It's really, it's just honestly, it's really hard. It's a lot of work. It's like making homemade tamales or pasteles. It's just very labor intense. And when it's you're just, trying to... I tried it once before too, and I don't think I bought the right corn flour, so that yeah. was a problem. But we're gonna get there eventually. Um, we're just gonna keep destroying our kitchen and, and, and try then, it out. And <laughs> then, second. Yes, my favorite. This one. You guys may have seen these before. These are plantains. So let's show you, I kinda wanna do this too. Just I think grab one. Just okay. grab one. Yeah. <laughs> so whole I'm thing. trying. Okay, <laughs> so you have a traditional banana, right? A sweet banana. And then you have a plantain. So plantains is just basically like the big Human boy. growth hormone <laughs> banana. No, you see these a lot in the Caribbeans and uh, they're really awesome. They can be made into something very savory and it's a super starchy, starchy 
It's like a potato banana, in lack of better terms. Yeah, they're, they're not really super sweet. Yeah, they're so starchy. They're so savory, especially when you cook them up and they're strong. They don't mush like a regular sweet banana. So basically you peel it, you chop them up, you fry it quick to get them soft. And then you take this guy and then you smash them and you fry it again. So they're like little smashed plantain, chips. mushy, not mushy, but. Crispy chips. Crispy, but they're kind of soft like, in the middle still. Like, still like a uh, yeah. hard chip. Mm -hmm. Fresh, what's haha? -ha? Okay, we we're making pina coladas tonight. Yeah. And we're gonna do it, attempt it with a rum float on the top, so it gives it a little bit extra. So we're we're hanging out in the Gulf and in the the Caribbean today, so it'll be Inside cool. Inside the gorditas, we're doing flank steak. Yes. So we're gonna actually start right away and get that marinating because we wanna usually you wanna marinate it, you know, for a while. But we don't have a while because we have a show, so we have to do it. <laughs> Very quickly. Basically, we're gonna marinate for like an hour. Yeah, so we've got some lime juice. I'm gonna do like a half a cup of lime juice. We got mega garlic. Ah! That was almost fun. That was almost everywhere. Let's see this camera. Wait, that is that camera. Four? I'm gonna, nope, some, five? I'm gonna grab some water. Five. Whoa, look at that. So we got mega garlic. We're gonna probably throw about a tablespoon of mega garlic in there. Or should we should we stick with the the saying of doing? Ooh yeah. Split one. Okay. Has anyone had a harito before? Let's. Uh... We're gonna get this going um, first, and then we're gonna make the drinks. But we're gonna have these while we're doing that. Ah, uh, because they're so good, and it's our little treat. We'll we'll split one when we have like. Uh, Mexican dinners, needless to say. <laughs> These are hard to find too. This is like gold right now. Yeah, they're they're limited supplies. They can't. They don't have the the materials to bottle them, which is very unfortunate. Because oh, I'm a sucker for them, especially the lime or the grapefruit. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get going back on this. We're gonna do salt and pepper, which I didn't bring over. Do about that much of salt. That much pepper, and we're gonna take a little bit of this cilantro. And we're gonna chop that up in there, and we're not gonna chop my fingers. <laughs> Here you go, Thank you. Cilantro, and you know what? I want to do a little bit. Of jalapeno in there because I like it. So who knows the trick? If you smell a jalapeno, will you know if it's spicy or not? You can see how sweet it is on your nose. I always. I don't it. buy that trick. <laughs> you just chop it up and you just throw it. it just in. you just whatever whatever you get is what you get. It's not like you <laughs> smell one and then you decide, well, this one's too spicy. I'm not going <laughs> to eat this one. It's a mystery game. So, I'm going to chop that up. That'll be in the marinade as well. And then, I, I had a bag. Here we go. Bag. A big. Big. A big. We're going to throw that in there. And usually we want to like grill this, but we also don't have a camera by our grill outside. So we're not going to grill it either. We're going to put it on a pan. Which is fine. You can do that. Actually, I'm going to do a little more lime juice here. Just so it, it's enough liquid. Mm. Seal that up. Try to get the air out so you can mush the. All right, we'll seal that up. Perfect. Oh, I'm just gonna kind of get this all over it. The color looks good too. And I'm doing this quickly because I want to get to pina coladas. <laughs> and I'm actually not gonna refrigerate it. Uh, like that? you would, because just right now we want it to be somewhat room temperature for when we when we cook it. Because if it's too cold, it's gonna not cook the way we want to cook it. So I'm just gonna leave it out over here. And then the best part. <laughs> Pina coladas. You put the lime in the coconut and mix it all around. There's no lime 
in a pina colada. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on over over here. <laughs> I'm, but, making, I'm making my own song. <laughs> so we're going to do it all fresh. We got pineapple. Oh, we need your juice. We also have pineapple juice. So we'll cut the top off the pineapple and save that. And to peel these, it's you could do like a pineapple core and peeler and that's easy too, but this is also not that bad. I usually will do the the bottom end too just because it gives you a nice surface. And then you just kind of... You trim her down. Trim it down. My favorite with pineapples is like I'll buy one and then I'll let it sit on the counter for about a week so it gets like super duper duper sweet. And to the point where it's like completely like nice and golden color and that's when you know it's perfect. So um, Jazz always tests the pineapples in the store. I smell them. She smells the butt. I smell the butt and I'm like, this one's good. Because if not, then it's a, it's a super like... So she's sitting in here smelling pineapple butts and <laughs> she gives me crap when I, when I hit the meat. When you spank me, yes. <laughs> spank the meat. You gotta see how it is in the store. But a funny story. It's really weird, guys. <laughs> We did it in Costco today, but then... No, he did it in Costco. <laughs> and then when I put it out on the tray, we had to see it one more time, just see if it was good. And yeah. then what happened? Some meat juice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, got in her eye. So he spanks the meat in front of me, right? And this it's, is it's really out of the bad. container. And blood gushed into my eye. I was livid. Living. She was she was not happy, <laughs> but then she like does one of these like fakes punch at me. I'm like whoa whoa. <laughs> it was a reflex. I felt like I was gonna. You want this? Let me put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> I think that was the first time I ever. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you've done it before. I think when I when I hit you accidentally with the um... the jump rope. The jump rope. Oh yeah, it's a, whenever I feel threatened, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's a reflex, you know? I yeah, don't know. Totally. I totally mean, reflex. You know where I grew up. <laughs> I, had, I had a big brother that would beat the crap out of me as a little <laughs> girl. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna chop just dice up the pineapple. You know, I'm gonna grab a bowl for you too. Okay, thanks. So it's you can kinda keep it put it together. Perfect. I wanna try a piece of it. This is for my pina colada. How mm. dare you? It's so good. Oh, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ooh, for the yeah. pina colada, we'll do about a cup of diced pineapple. Shmini. It's about a cup. <laughs> pineapple juice. How many ounces? Uh, Isn't it like four ounces, I believe? Yeah. Uh, it's when you just trim your nails and then it hurts. So what are these? Six. So we'll do almost this whole thing. I'm going to put this one in the fridge then. About like that. And then, uh, the best ingredients are the oh, yeah. coconut. You know what? Can we do a, what's this? This is camera two. You want to zoom in it? So can we do two and four? Maybe? Six? Does that give us what we want? Yeah. yeah. So here we go. Uh, coconut milk. And we just like shake this up. So and coconut cream. It's like of coconut it's really like thick and coconutty so what's why do we use the goya brand i don't know because it's the, the good brand because oh. <laughs> that's what like where we find it yeah so this needs to kind of be stirred up a little bit you can see there's kind of like a it's congealed on top yeah and the bottom is there's like a like a, almost oil but this is like you need to kind of stir this together Another way you could do it too, like before opening, you can roll it on its side and shake it up really, really hard for it to balance and like level out, but you still gotta zhuzh it up. So I'm just doing that. So coconut cream, we'll do about four ounces as well. That one gets messy. Yeah. Coconut milk is less messy. Why did I chop my nails? Do you need help? Right before this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Same with this, about four ounces. And this one's also kind of chunky. 
we like them chunky. Okay. Will you sh- take that? <laughs> like, okay, I got it. <laughs> your kid's like, so, it's like covered in schmutz. And then you just wash your hands. It's fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the best part. Rum. Rum. This is also about four. Everything's about four ounces in this. It makes it really easy. This is this will make like four of them, I think. We'll see. Was that four ounces of actual rum, or was that Kale's four ounces of rum? I measured it. You saw me uh, measure it. I'm just making sure. Of. Uh, ice. ice. Oh, you brought the ice. I brought the ice for you. Yeah. So then we need about three-ish cups of ice. This two. And then we'll just do a couple more for fun. Boom. Boom. And then this is the loud part. Prepare yourself. And then we put this on your head. No. And we wait. La 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 la. What I like to do too is. Oh yeah, and then we do a little garnish. Oh yeah. Oh my God, those look so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, that made about two and That's a half. Perfect. And then you peel the top of the uh, of the pineapple and, and you, you stick it in there. Stick it in there and you have your cute little And now you are on an island, officially. And it's sixty five degrees today in Wisconsin. It's amazing. And it feels like we're on an island. Mmm. Oh dark rum float. Oh. Dark. Ah. You know what? This isn't as thick as sometimes they do, but then you can just like put a little rum on top. Cause we lack room. And this gets to Gives it a little bit different flavor to it. Gives it some body. Gives it some oomph. <laughs> Whoops. Moving on. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna start Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. the um, make it rolling out the gorditas. Rum on top. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. Okay. So actually, do you want to soak these? We'll soak. Where's the other one? I thought we had three. So these we're gonna kind of chop the top off. Like this. And the bottom. And then we're gonna peel them. So the, another key thing too, when you're, when you're preparing uh, plantains, you want to scorch the sides. Um, oh. Need sand. Oh my God, sand. Yes. So when you scorch them, perfect. You know how to scorch. Score them down the middle, and then you just kind of peel. And while Kale's doing that, and this is not a very fun process. It, it gets really, really hard, and they're kind of sticky, and it's just not a lot of fun. You hit three. This camera is kind of bright for this. There we go. As you can see, like, it's way different than like a, a banana. Yeah. Looks similar. I'm gonna get Smells some. Smells kind of similar. I'm gonna get some warm water going and put some salt on it because we're gonna soak these bananas. And you could just use regular like Morton salt, iodized salt. This is a trick that Mama Nelly taught me too to do. It helps soften, like tenderize the banana. It was always fun when I was little, uh, being at home. Nellie would never peel the bananas. My dad would always be responsible for peeling the bananas. <laughs> it was always such a miserable po- process. Um, but we got through it, because at the end, they were so delicious. I can't wait. I already can't wait. Remember, guys? Can we just fast forward? Yes. So Need sand. Okay, so I'm guessing let's how about let's have beach be the code word today. Beach. 
Oh, beach. We want to go to a beach. Oh, beach. Hmm. <laughs> That's fun. I like that idea. Okay, so beach is the code word. Beach. I'm spilling. Okay. And then we kind of chop these into like, uh, let's see. Can we like, uh, like about like that. So it's like two inches, give or take. Because then these flatten down. You're doing such a nice job, love. Ta da! Where's the bowl? Right there. We're going to soak them in this bowl. I'll help you move them. Oh, oh, it's because beach. I beach. Here you go. Oh, that's mine? Oh, yeah, I have green. You have green, and I have orange. Mmm. Yep. Oh my god, can you go so good? <laughs> they're so freaking good. Like, they're like crack. Woo. I'm gonna have such a sugar high, too. I'm gonna be like... So these are doing their thing in here. So basically like 30 minutes, right, while we do everything else? Yeah, because these will go really quick. Do you put salt in there? I did, yes. Cool. Hey Siri, set a 30 minute timer. I'm gonna preheat the oven. Do that. And what should I do? 350, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cool. Don't forget your soda. Oh, yeah. All right. Jazz is going to prep the beans now. Yes. So, um, one of my favorites is to make these beans. And I honestly just started making them because, well, I would always eat them at home. I'm going to have this while she does that. <laughs> so, I'm using a... Uh, a red kidney bean, right? And traditionally, you get you eat this, and it has sofrito, tomato sauce, adobo sazon, um, potatoes, onions. You can put olives in it, but in my family, we don't really eat a lot of olives. What what was the pasteles again? Pasteles? Yeah, what was that again? That's Puerto Rican. Yeah, no, but what is it? So it's a. I, I've, I've eaten it, but. Yeah, so it's a it's a masa. Oh, that's like the with little the, with the. It's like a. It's kind of like a a, um, a calzone, a little mini calzone, right? No, it's, it's wrapped up in banana leaves. Oh, that's right. What's the thing that's? Oh, you're thinking of an empanada, or yeah, or the acopuria. But wasn't there another one? Acopuria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's Those the are calzone good. one. I'm just gonna go back to this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you're gonna use. Red Goya beans. I'm, I'm very loyal to Goya. Uh, Are those Uggs jazz? Uggs. No, they're not Uggs. They're they're greens. Oh man, I got this is dirty now. These are Target. <laughs> Hold on. Um, Should we see? Should we see them? Target. <laughs> and now we're gonna use. Uh, okay, back to this. So yeah, we have our red kidney beans, our tomato sauce. Um, my baby's making tostones. It's Manelli. Oh, yay. Um, this is sofrito, and unfortunately, we usually buy it from Tony's grocery store in Illinois, and there's nothing like that out here. So this is what we have out in Wisconsin. So my first time actually using this particular brand, because usually I just buy it out in Illinois. Adobo. This is the orange-flavored one. And then sazon. And you notice there's a couple of different variations of sazon. So this one has... Um, Tulantro and uh, annatto, so it gives you a nice dark, deep red color. I hope Goya is fronting some cash. I know. We Goya. gotta get. We should get stickers and put them over all <laughs> this stuff. Goya, I love you. <laughs> oh, and last thing, you use um, your bay leaves too when you're cooking this down. So this is kind of a process. So I'm gonna actually get an onion. And do you need me to do anything? Yeah, Kale. Can you actually start the pot and yeah. put a little bit of um, put canola oil actually? Coat the bottom of it. So mm -hmm. I can start um, getting it warm. So I'm going to peel. You can use red potatoes. Um, right now what we have in our pantry is a Yukon gold potato. So I'm going to peel this guy. And the nice thing about... How do you need the pan? Um, Just to get warm right now. Okay. Because... We're gonna cook this very slow, considering we have so many more other things to do. So this process is just. Um, and now a word from our sponsor, Goya. <laughs> Goya, I love you. 
So peel the potato. I'm a potato. I'm a potato. Honestly, at home we would always use red potatoes. Um, and it's really important too, you peel off the skin because when you cook it, the potatoes get really soft and you don't want to have them separate and get weird in the, in the pot. Again, you could also put um, like olives in here if you wanted to add a little bit more saltiness. You can put sasichon. Oh, we're gonna make this more of like- Where'd a you get that shredder thing? Hmm, where did we get that shredder thing? Oh, Tim. We Tim. know some pretty awesome people who got us that shredder thing. Yeah, we love it guys. Seriously, it's amazing. So I'm gonna just dice up my potatoes. And you can kind of see how big it is next to my finger. The little dices. You don't wanna do them too small, just enough where you can kind of still have a bite. I'm gonna get out one of our flattening plates. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, they're way in the back. <clears throat> you guys, our stuff's in different spots every single time. So it's like a scavenger hunt fun game. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite game. We play the game. Where is this plate today? Oh no, you guys, this camera did a thing. Oh no. <laughs> Stand by. It's okay. We're back. Barley, come here. We're back, yay! Come here. Okay, so got my little diced potatoes. These look beautiful. And play now. Play the game. Where's the plate? Back to my story. Shut. Jazz is cooking, I'm telling you story. I'm gonna hit him in the head with the <gasps> onion. <laughs> you guys, more violence. <laughs> this is the second act of violence today. No! Second. Get out of here. You're tripping. You guys. <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, everything's fine. That's what I just said. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm, I peeled the onion, um, I cut the end of it, and then I scorched it on the side, and I kept this part on it, because when I'm cutting it, this is gonna help me keep it, um, the onion from not sliding around. At Central Park Fruiteria. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Well, say, I always choose violence. <laughs> <laughs> Kale, do you feel safe? <laughs> He's yes, safe. I feel safe. He's fine. So I'm cutting the onion in half, and I'm kind of doing like big chunks. You're not allowed to add, you're not allowed to say that I feel fine. You feel fine, I know you do. I'm telling you to feel that way. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you guys, see this, everything's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now I have this really nice, thick, chunky onion. And the cool thing about it, that's all you really need to do. The, the, the cutting and prepping of this is so freaking easy. Um, and now I'm gonna put it in that warm pot. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna do it like this. Let's do the onions first, actually, pardon me. Onions first. Table right behind you. Got it. And so that pot's been getting kind of warm. Oh, you put oil in it, let me. Oh yeah, hold on, wait a sec. <laughs> Stand by, guys. Stand by. We didn't put oil in it. We're doing it right now, though. Is it warm yet? Let's crank it up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I just want to put on the record, you told me to just turn it a little bit warm for now. I thought I said to put... You didn't say to crank it. You did say put oil in it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to crank it now because I'm going to put onion in no, it. No, she definitely said put oil in it, but I want to put it on the record that she said just <laughs> turn it on a little bit. It's okay. It's on the record. All right, so my trick is to put... You can leave the onions out. Do I need to call a counselor? <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just waiting for it to get um, nice and warm. I'm starting to see some action. And I threw an onion in there and it's starting to sizzle. So perfect. So this is kind of a quick process. So I'm gonna put the onions in. What about the taters? Oh, we're getting there. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the whole, I'm gonna do another bit of it. I want a little bit more. Okay. Ooh, and those onions smell so good though. They do, and you know, the, the key thing is to use um, a yellow onion, because they're sweeter. But that's not a sweet onion, right? This is, yeah. No. Oh no, it's a yellow onion, I'm sorry. Yeah, but they make a sweet onion. They do. 
Great. So this is sizzling, right? Blink twice if you feel unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, getting my potatoes ready and all of my spices. So what spices are we doing? We're going to do a packet of sasson. Can you open that one actually? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it right here on the camera. I think so. Do these need to be rinsed? No, we're okay. using the, the sauce. They come in little packets. Yeah, I love it. And there's a game that you play. You try to eat the just the packet of... Don't be crazy. It's a game. All right, yeah, this looks great. Oh my God, this smells so good already. So we're cooking this and it's cooking, it's breaking down really quickly actually, it feels great. I'm gonna get my tomato sauce ready. And I, I think the nice thing about this whole process is that you kind of just put everything in a pot and then you leave it. So. Do you eat it though? You leave it. But then you eat it? Oh yeah, then you eat it. Oh, okay, then you eat so it. So the tomato sauce, I do about half a can. You need to show the Goya label to qualify for cash and prizes. Sasson. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons. Big ones, okay? You're so good at measuring. I'm gonna do an entire packet of the sasson with the achote. It's gonna be nice and red. Be careful, this will stain your clothes. And then you do a good stir. I'm gonna lower my feet a little bit. And with the adobo, the one with the orange, you just kind of coat the pot back and forth. I do it about three, four times. And then you do the adobo with cumin. Go back and forth three, four times. And then I add two bay leaves. And then I stir. And then? And then we're gonna add those potatoes. Wanna bring them? Please. You guys are bringing the potatoes. Can you put the potatoes in? Oh yeah. Cool. Let them cook down a little bit. Look at that. Whoa, watch Ooh, out. Be careful. When but do we put the beans in? Not yet. Oh, okay. What I'm gonna do is, because this is getting kind of uh, dry already, I'm gonna get some of that water from the beans. Bean juice. And put it in there. Beach? Okay, beach. We're gonna let that just simmer down, okay? Jess, cooking, cooking somebody slow. said beach. Oh, beach! I'm coming, I'm coming. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Holy hot dog. Holy hot dog. <laughs> we had hot dogs today. LOL at Adobe. What is it? Adobo? Is it like Adobe? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's a seasoning. It's a seasoning. They have so All many. All purpose. It's, yeah, they have like a citrusy one. They have a like a cumin one. They have a like a like the red one. Which one's the red one? Oh, that's the one with pepper. You can do it with like low sodium. This the one has cheeseburger in it. <laughs> it's just cheeseburger. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> Alrighty. I just wanna I wanna show what's going on right here. Can you hit three? Yes. <laughs> Someone's peeking. Oh, we should give him a treat. We should give him a treat. Bubba's. Want a treat? You gonna sit? Sit for mommy? Good boy. Paw? You wanna give me paw? Give me paw? Good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Ooh. 
Okay. Good barley. So, right. we can start getting the oil hot. Actually, you know what? We should probably start making the uh, gorditas. Yeah, that's a great call. So. I'm gonna grab a, a plate to put these on. And then we're gonna need another bag. So like what you do, so they don't stick to your plate, I just take a sandwich bag and cut it down the side, each side. And then you do that and you have a little like thing. That's a technical term. <laughs> You will make the uh, won't make it to the end of the video if you if I get to uh, abuse the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm just gonna take a sip just to take a sip. Oh, beach. Okay, so we'll get a little. <laughs> we we'll get like like an inch and a half diameter ball, and then you just smush them. You cover it back up. And you can use like a tortilla press. You can use basically anything to just smash them down. You don't want to smash them completely flat. You smash them just enough so that they're like that. Kind of looks like a sugar cookie, right? Yeah. How many should we do? Um. 40, 100? I mean, let's just do them all and keep them. We could have leftovers. <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You're funny. I'm checking my my potatoes and my... Uh... So when they cook, they kind of puff up. And that's when you slice them. Ooh, I see a Jeffus. I think Barley wants to know if he's a good boy. Aww. Why is he excited? Why is he in the other room? He um, He's in the other room because he gets jealous when he thinks we're talking to other people. Yeah, he just gets a little riled up, and it's hard. He's walking in between our legs, and we're going to crash into him. I'm actually going to just put a little bit of water in my potatoes and beans, our potatoes and onions right now, because it's starting to... Cool. Will you start heating up some corn oil? Yes. And we're still making these. Just a, a thin layer of crust? Yeah, like a... Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, these look beautiful, though. We'll see. I love the smell of this stuff. Yeah, it does smell good. This is the same stuff that you, you make like tortillas with. Same stuff that goes inside of tamales, right? This masa, I believe so. Similar. Mm-hmm. It's used all in all sorts of different dishes. And I like it that we, we go to El Rey and they sell it just like regularly like this, no? Yep. I sell it in a little bag and it's good to go, ready to go. What's going on here? Oh, I can read that. I got you. Brown liquor always works for my kitties. Try that. <laughs> I like Kale's numbering system. Four, forty hundred. What did I did I say? Forty hundred. Mm. What did I say? Oh, for when? How many we're gonna make? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, about forty hundred. Sounds about right. We always over portion whenever we cook. <laughs> We're making these a little bigger than I did when we test them, tested them. So we're gonna, hopefully this works out. Did you refill yours? No. You did? <laughs> <laughs> no. What the beach is this? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have to drink, sucker. <laughs> okay, fine.
<laughs> Did someone say beach? Somebody said beach. Ooh. Jess said beach. I'm like looking at them. I'm like, why do they look fuller? What happened? Okay, so we got those. And then once this guy starts doing its thing. Mm, this smells so good. We are going to cook them. Oh my God, Kale. You should just try the sauce. Okay. Let me try it. Just like lick the spoon. I'll lick the spoon. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> That's very good. I love this stuff. Seriously. I used to, when I'm I first gonna moved wash out, off. I used to tell my parents, I'm like, you guys need to cook for me because I don't want to make this stuff at home because I don't know how to. And now I'm forced to make and now it. Now look at you. I'm forced to make stuff like this in Wisconsin for Kale and I, and he's so great because he, he'll be my biggest cheerleader and oh, tell this me needs to be hot. Oh, it needs to be hotter. Oh, sorry. And I think, what was it? When I made my first batch of um, arroz con gandules. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, the, the rice and beans. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. That was really good. We ate it all. <laughs> we killed it. <laughs> I was so proud. <laughs> so if you see our, our pan, this is some corn oil that we had. It's being reused from other deep frying adventures. And that's the nice thing about corn oil. It's like you could you reuse it as long as you keep it clean and like filter it out. Cause you know, oil now you get jugs of it I and mean, everything's expensive, but you get a big jug of it. You let it cool out, you filter it, get all the gunk, the chunks out of it. Use it again, use it again. So that's warming up. We are sampling this. Beach. Mm. Oh my God. I want a daiquiri Why is right this now. so good? No, why? After this? When you have pina colada, why would you want a daiquiri? Oh, because I want to have, I don't want to be full. Oh yeah, I guess it, they do get kind of full. <laughs> they make you full. How are we doing here? What's the trick? You splash water in it. What's the trick, player? Do this. Or what if you did this? Nope, I had enough. What's that? That's some, some of the masa. But now it's stuck in there. It's okay, we can scoop it. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Look at it. You guys. Look at We scooped it, guys. Oh, shh. Sh Stuff. Ugh. I'm trying so hard <laughs> not to swear. I'm getting better at it. My potty mouth is uh, definitely getting better. So, I'm going to kind of try to move this a little bit. Here you go. So oh, we can... Should we put a mat underneath it? Just it gets... What? Because we're going to... It's going to be hot. Sure. And I think last last night when we made these, I didn't I didn't slice them down the middle right away. So because when when they puff up, that's when you can have a really good opportunity to slice them. And we waited. So I think tonight I'm gonna try to. They're gonna be hot. And I'm gonna burn myself. Jazz is eating. <laughs> <laughs> so. Coco Lopez is the best for pina coladas. What, yeah. is, what is Coco Lopez? Coco Lopez is, um, it's a type of, it's a brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, you know what? So the reason I was eating was because I was trying my potato to see if it was soft enough. Mm -hmm. And it's just perfect. So now I'm going to actually put my beans in. And Kale, do you want to show them what I'm doing? Yeah. So usually people drain out their beans and rinse them. But in this case, you want to use the bean juice. So I'm gonna dump my entire can of beans in there, right? And I'm gonna fill this up with water. So put, close that up. We're gonna fill this can up with water. And you're gonna do a full cup, actually. And then dump that right on top. So you get some of that, the little like chunks, um. chunks of uh, bean juice. <laughs> And then I'm gonna just stir it. And then you honestly just keep this low and it simmers. And that's it. This cool. is the, that's the cool thing about this dish. Low and slow, heat it up, and it kind of just does its own thing. So it's gonna be cooking while we do everything else. And speaking of everything else, we're gonna start frying up the gorditas. Which we have here. And do you think it's ready? I think it's ready. Yeah. Okay. Um, be careful because these will break. 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. Do we line this with paper towel? No. Uh. Because we have more than we did yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So why are we? Why do we line it with paper towel? Because it'll soak up all the goodness a little bit. And we only get one paper towel, guys. Shush up. We get one. And in my lunches, I get a quarter of one. You get a big boy. You get a big one. <laughs> okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm just conserving. I get a big one. <laughs> and now we just watch it. And so, we watch it. Well, while, while you do, a, we'll do a, like two of these, right? And then we can move into making sauces. Yeah, I can sit here and do these and you can start making sauces. Yeah. Or you can do these and I can make, we're making a, um, see, we have, we got a dual camera here, right? Three and five, one and five, one and three. Maybe we don't. I, we got a triple screen. What do we got on the triple screen? That, that, that. Oh, that's perfect. Look at us. Should I put a little bit more oil in here? No. Because we're going to flip it. Oh, see, I'm just, I'm just, I've never made these before. Kale always makes them and I'm just jumping ahead. Yeah, so. Oh, those, that looks nice and puffy. Good. You eventually do flip it. Oh, has it been a minute yet? Oh, I don't know. I might have made these too thick, so we might have to cook them a little bit longer. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> can we get two in there? Can we get two going at once? Oh, I think I don't. You totally can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not overcrowding the plate or anything like that. Perfect. That looks good. So I'm hopefully waiting for it to kind of start puffing in the middle. And then we'll take it out and slice it up. So when it puffs in the middle, is that because it's like rising? Yeah, it's kind of... It will cook in the middle like a pancake a pancake kind of puffs in the middle puffs and oh. when it kind of cooks it kind of gets a little airy in the middle and that's how you can so you Scorch can it kind of see it starting yeah. to that's cool I and love then you that. want to slice it down this and we'll use this little guy because this is a thin paring knife yeah thin paring knife to cut down the side <laughs> music quiz Put Two pina coladas under the, the boardwalk will give you a good vibration in the summertime at some... Some beach. beach. Ah, beach! There's lots of songs in that sentence. <laughs> so... Rory just made home made salsa and used no Goya products. Ooh. Oh, we should see me. What? Oh, yeah, that looks great. That looks good, love. Think so? Yeah. Do you think you need, I don't know, you're the expert. It's puffing a little bit. So we'll keep it going more. I should flip this one though. Isn't that hot? Yeah. <laughs> it is hot guys. Hot oil is hot. You can see it's kind of puffing out of the oil now. <laughs> that was awesome. And that's when I can take it out. Yeah. And set was, it down. That was hot. <laughs> and then once this just kind of cools a little bit, because it's freaking hot right now, I can hopefully slice it down the middle. And I can get another one going. I think I can hold it now. So what I'm going to do... Is you're gonna get your knife in there and you're not gonna cut yourself. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh. What is my man doing? <laughs> ah, it hurts. You guys. Do you wanna use um You're doing great. Ah, 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 ah. Why don't you use a towel to, to... Oh yeah, you guys I have a towel. <laughs> I'm not smart or anything. You guys, I have a towel. Oh, my fungo! You know what? Yes, I am so down. Freaking my fungo is like one of the best things in this world. Great idea. Um, there's this place called Cafe Central in Humboldt Park that I used to go to with my, my dad and mom. Okay, and that didn't work out as well as I hoped. It was so good. And but I now there's a pocket. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just talking and being nonsense. But it was this beautiful shrimp soup that came in a in a big metal pot and it was scorching hot. 
and it had rice There's kind of, That one, I fail miserably at that one. And I would get mofongo and I'd crush it up and throw chunks of mofongo in there. It was so good. What happened with this one? Ow, 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 ow. Guys, Phil. you guys hot oil's hot. <laughs> Woo! Can I help you? Fail. The masa's good. It tastes good. <laughs> I don't remember which one's which now. Use a towel, Julia. <laughs> Woo! Ow, ow, ow. Do you want me to help you look? You got it? You guys, that uh, hurts. I have an idea. There's a thinner one. Okay. So while Jazz is doing that, I'm gonna hopefully redeem myself with whatever that knife went. I put it in the measuring cup, you got it? See, it's stuff just goes missing, it's fine. I mean, I don't know, I ate the <coughs> stuff off of it. So this is a little hot, I'm gonna lower this. Mmm, our beans smell so good. You guys, I'm like really gorditas. concentrating. Gorditas are good, especially when they're homemade. Hey Siri, stop timer. What was the timer for? This is the timer for the bananas. Oh yeah. Because we're soaking them. We they're, are soaking them. They're fine. <clears throat> we'll get there in a second. We totally got this. Yeah, love it, you're, you're crushing it. Hey Siri, shut up. <laughs> hey Siri. Oh, sh <laughs> Shiri. Hey, Shiri. <laughs> Shiri. Oh, she said good evening. Even if you have a speech impediment. <laughs> impediment. Hey, Siri, just continue playing music. Gosh, do your job. <laughs> you know what I... I <laughs> she did. <laughs> I'm going to do this. So we're going to get this and flip it like that. So I don't burn myself. Holy crap, Jazz. What's up, love? I think I did one. Hey! Opa! Yep. Yep. And you used to Oh, touch. yeah. Good job. Oh, yeah. This one looks good, too, though, no? Yeah, it'll look good once we put meat in it. Yeah. Beach. I'm beaching myself. How do these look, love? Oh, shit. What's up, Monica? Watching for your mama. She has you on the big TV. How does this look, love? Are these crispy enough? They poofy? Yeah! Look at this, guys. This is happening. Alright, let's start getting this pan hot for the flank steak. Well, no, no, no. We still have to make sauces. So oh, yeah. we have to wait. We're waiting. We're not even close yet, love. We're not close. I, that's what I, I was just testing you. I was testing you to see how close we were. <laughs> the thrill and the excitement is happening. So what I kind of do is I get a knife. This is like shucking an oyster. Oh my god, we should do oysters again! I, you get the knife in there and you kind of move it around so it'll make the pocket. And then that's when I make the rest of the slice down the edge. This would help if it were, if it were uh, serrated. You know what, I'm actually gonna just keep the oven on, keep warm. Because we still have to do the tostones. Yep, too. that's also true. Look at that, another pocket, what up? Hey, you're crushing it. You guys, look at this, this is happening. I'm telling you, Kale's becoming a little Mexicano. We gotta come up with a, a Spanish name for you. Okay, that's everyone's job. We all need to figure out a Spanish name for uh -oh. Kale. Actually, how do you say Kale in Spanish? I don't know if you do. Do you? I don't know, that's a good question. I'm gonna phone a friend. And hello, Gita! <laughs> How do you say kale in in Spanish? I'm getting good at this now. Yeah, because you're using a towel. Woo, yeah! Cool. You know, I'm gonna put another paper towel down because it's getting oily. You guys, this is exciting. This is happening. Fan request, maybe next week you do Ukrainian dishes Aww. in solidarity. Yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. Actually, we should, uh, we've never done it too, so we'll get creative. Jazz, you are so adorable. 
Aw, thanks. Cart before the flank steak. What's cart? PR has it the best. Don't worry, I'll take you, Nelly. Yeah. Emmy. Wait, so what, what's your name in Spanish, though, everyone? We don't know. I want to... Probably like Steve or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this one was a little crispy. That's all, that's all good, though. Sorry. Yeah, I, I realized I got... Well, there's a nice pocket in this one. I think they de I think they do need to kind of crisp up, though, you know? Yeah, they just kind of they break then, though. Oh, okay, I see. All right, well, we're getting there. I want my beans. <laughs> Oh yeah. There's one more left. I put another um You guys this down. is successing. Oh yeah, these look lovely. Look at that. You're killing it. And I think using the tong and the the spatula is like very helpful because I'm finding that when you try to touch it with your fingers, well it kinda hurts. <laughs> yeah, because it's hot. It is freaking hot. Okay. This is actually turning out so good, you guys. <laughs> Tim's here. Hello, Hi. Tim. What's up? Love, you're so cute. I love that you're so happy about this. And honestly, it's going to be so freaking good. Oh, no, the camera went all out again. No. I got to figure that out. Like, if I don't touch, like, a button on this camera, every so often, it just like, ah, I'm done. And Barley, I, hey, watch out, Bar. Hasta luego, boy. Okay. It says bye. All right. So now I think these are done. Okay. Okay, cool. And so I turned this down a little bit because. And we want to probably put a little more oil in here for the tost tostones. Okay. So. All right. So let's get. um. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. I want to eat that. Yum. Are they seeing this? Guavete. What's that? Is that my name? Guavete. I can call you, um. Hmm. What if I call you, um. Queso? Like cheese. <laughs> You're my cheese. <laughs> All out. <laughs> but you guys, we're not eating cheese this month. Nope, we gave it up. We're happy about that too. <laughs> look sure? at that, you guys. Look at that pocket. So yes. The, so the one that's kind of messed up, can we eat that one? No, you know, we'll wait. No, no, we'll wait. It's all we'll good. Wait. Okay, so let's put that in the oven, right? Yeah, we can keep them warm. Can we put it in the oven with the paper towel? Yeah. Paper towel? Okay. I turned it down just to warm. So then I got another one going for our tostones. And now... Maybe the camera needs a vacation on the beach. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, these are so good. That's our word, remember? Oh yeah, I'm eating. <laughs> what are you eating? The remnants of that. Mm. Cheers. Oh, we have to make more. I know. Well. No, I'm gonna do something a little bit lighter. Oh. Because, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll okay, do. so these were soaking. I'm gonna actually dry these off so they don't get um, splashy in the yeah. oil. So. Where'd they go? I was oh. gonna just uh, do this. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this, guys. Oh yeah, now we just let them sit there and dry. We don't need this, it's fine. I mean. Kale, your name in Spanish is Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, fine, Ralph. Ralphie, <laughs> like, uh, was that from the Christmas story? Oh, I don't know. What was the little kid's name? I'm gonna put that in there. Where am I putting it? In the, in the thing, the thing. <laughs> in the thing. Wait, who else? We need this. Who else does that? What? Who else does that? Dad. That's a call out to, to Mama Nelly. She'll be like, <laughs> I need the thing. I'm like, what thing are you talking about? The thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's her being cute. It's her little cuteness. Okay, so um, while we're doing that, let's do the sauces, lovey. Okay, so one of the sauces we're gonna make is the avocado crema, which is avocado. We're gonna do... Are you gonna do the avocado crema first? Yeah, because okay. that's the one I, I know how to make. Okay. Cilantro, which we love. Lime, jalapeno, avocado, which is right here. And you can't see that because I've got the wrong camera up because I'm a terrible person. No. You're just silly. Woo! Woo! I'm stealing this. Well, yeah, do your thing. Oh, here's the... Okay. I love cilantro, so we're going to use that much. <laughs> How much is that? About that much. Play. So this has, can you get out the sour cream? Oh, yes. This has cilantro, which I'm going to just into the thing. <laughs> this has a jalapeno, which I'm also going to into the thing. This is like one of my favorite sauces too, everyone. Like we do it with tacos, right? We did like, um, we do the shrimp tacos, right? With the coleslaw. Oh yes, yeah. We do this sauce with a lot of stuff. Honestly, that or like just dipping like tortilla chips into it, like it's so freaking good. And then we got limes, which I don't know why I'm doing that. We'll use this for garnish. Ralph mouth? We have. Oh, you need the juicer, no? Lime juice, no, I don't need it. We got lime juice. I saw you cut one. I did. Okay. But we're gonna do that with, uh, we're gonna use it for garnish. Cause I forgot we had juice. A Little bit of sour cream. Oh, you gave me a spoon? I thought we used a knife. Shh. Shut up. I thought we used a knife. All right. <laughs> yes, you're right. We do. Do a little more lime. In the Perales household, we do. And then, can you bring over camera three? Camera three? Yeah. I'm just checking on my beans. So this is the fun part because it's not a whole lot of liquid that goes into this. Um, I'm gonna put a little oil in it. Oh yeah, because then it gets like um, like super chunky, right? Yeah, I'll put a little oil in it. But it's hard because we don't have a food processor. So we have to So we use it. our ninja, but uh, if you want it, Help me out on three here. Oh yeah. What's going on here? Oh, it's not on right, guys. To do this, you have to screw it down so it's screwed on correctly. There we go. Now it's good. It's doing its thing. <laughs> we do this. And then that's done. Ta da! And we want to put it in this because we want to squirt bottle it. May I grab you the funnel? Mmm. Hold on, I want to taste it first. Uh, where's your little funnel at? Did, yep. you already, did you already grab it, love? Yep, little funnels here. No, okay. we need a big one. Big mouth funnel. This one, right? Nope. This chunky one? This mouth? one. Okay. We got all these little funnels, and this will just kind of help it get into our bottle. You don't have to do this. We do this because we like to be able to do presentation and plating. It got you. <laughs> I got you in the eye. <laughs> Wait, no, you, can't, you gotta get closer. In his glass. <laughs> oh god. In the face. <laughs> Guys, so it's we were Ralphie. saying. Love it. Hugs and kisses. Aww. What's up? My dad. Your dad's playa. 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 
I'm gonna do it like this this time so I don't get it everywhere. Okay. This is amazing. Mm. I'm eating just, it. Can I just like eat the sauce like this? Mm. <laughs> we're just gonna take spoonfuls of it. Oh my god. So let's close this up and we're gonna save this for later. It's not even that spicy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Mmm. <laughs> yep, okay, I stop. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. Okay. You know what, I definitely think we need to make another drink though because I'm empty. What do you want? Is it inappropriate? Oh no, we don't have grapefruit. Well, I'm gonna need more pina colada soon, so let's do that. Well, I wanna do, you know, I'm gonna do just daiquiri. Because okay. Because I'll get, I wanna be hungry for dinner. May I have the shaker? Oh, you know what, the shaker's right Shaker's right here. So, I'm gonna build. Tell them what you're making. I'm making a- Do you want a Hemingway daiquiri or a regular daiquiri? No, we don't have grapefruit juice. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna do a regular daiquiri, and it calls for rum, lime juice, simple syrup. Good oh my thing. God, my dad is, my dad's going crazy. Good thing I always have simple he syrup. He says playa. Playa, playa. No, it's playa. Playa, oh play. So I'm gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. It's right in front of the camera. An ounce of lime juice because we like it limey. It's also right in front of the camera. Sorry. Two ounces of uh, rum. And then I need some ice. May I have a cool lovey? Yes. Thank you. Ooh. Where are you going? I'm grabbing my garnishes. Oh yeah. Ah. It's at the bottom. Can you grab one? You want lime? Yes, please. Mm. We need to dehydrate some more limes. We do. We blew through them that one day. And bloop. And ba-da, ba -da. Look how pretty. Wait, you know what? You should do kind of a zoom on this. Yeah, we should. Like, look it. I, no, no, don't, don't move that one. Okay. Look how gorgeous it is, guys. Hopefully it tastes delicious. Let's see. Quality control. Your dad would like to know what recorder theme song you would like. Try it, Luke. Jurassic Park. Mm. Jurassic Park. Yep. That's good. That's good. All right. Oh wait, I'm, t I'm putting the ice away like a jerk. You're making a martini colada. Yeah. You know what? Ooh. Mm. I want what? a margarita again. We have all the ingredients. I know. Guys, so I'm going to do half now because Jazz isn't drinking them anymore. So <laughs> this is about two. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. You're good. I'm just going to guess. And yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. So that's how much we're doing for that one. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. And then coconut. We need a little bit more coconut juice, which is here. Coconut juice? Was that pineapple? Pineapple juice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um. Pineapple juice. Like I think I, I think I know what he's talking about, but I don't really know. Hey, nice. This might actually make a few. See if Who's, I can do them a little bit frothier this time. Who's the borracho now? I don't know what that means. The drunk. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get them a little bit frothier this time to do it for the rum blow. Nope, we'll do a little bit frothier. 
kind of want to make it thick. Let's see. May so I we can get that. Glass? Sure. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Is that it? So I wanted to get be able to float the rum on the top. So let's see if we can do it this time. Let's see, it's, it's thicker. Oh yeah. There it is. So it kind of piles up. And then you can take your dark rum and then it sits on the top. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That looks gorgeous. Do you still have some of this one? I mean, I guess I can Oh, drink. we got a sink situation. Ta-da! Mmm. Yep. Cheers. Beach. We need bigger straws though. May I? It's hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. No! Yeah, this straw sucks. Oh, well, it looks like you're just chugging it now. Mmm. Oh, oil smoking. Good, though. I'm lowering this. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's time to do um, our mojo garlic sauce. Cool. Yeah. So what's in that? So I have some. You could do dry oregano, but I like to use fresh oregano, cilantro, lime. Oops. I'm sorry. Lemon. Cheers. Drink cam. Lime. Drink cam right here. Garlic. Um, salt, pepper, and then olive oil. So it's pretty easy peasy. So what I'm gonna start off with first is my grinder guy, which I'm actually really excited about. So you're gonna get about five cloves of garlic. I have I to, I have to blend this up more. There's too many chunks of ice, guys. Uh-oh. Sorry, that's we we're having an issue with the straw. Better. Good. Oh yeah. Much better? Yes. Good. The the pina colada almost looks like sand on a beach. Oh my god. So I'm gonna Oh beach! 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 Oh, where's it at? Mm. What? I'm almost done with my... Oh my god. I need to stop. How many dolphins have to die? What do you mean? I don't understand. So I'm actually gonna start mushing up the garlic and then I'm gonna put some salt in there, some pepper, and this. Ooh, that smells really good. Whoa, 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 settle down. I love this song. Boom. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is Ford. If you want some good chill music, look up Ford. It's F-O-R-D, like the car, period. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is- The straws aren't paper. Oh, yeah. No, they're not. Oh, I get it. So I'm gonna take it out of the, the thingy. 
How do you know they're not paper? Oh, because they're not falling apart in 0.25 seconds. And I'm just gonna re-mince this up. That's how. Cool. And then, where's the bowl? What bowl? This one. Nope. And now I'm gonna grab the oregano and peel it backwards. So I grabbed essentially three sprigs. If you do dry, you can use um, two tablespoons. You always wanna kinda of go one less cause dry is a lot more stronger. And then again, mince up. This sauce is made to be nice and chunky. I'm just gonna dip mine in ketchup and Valentina. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You crazy boy. You don't know my life. I know your life. Keep I saying beach until Jazz starts swearing. <laughs> She's been really good this time. I really am trying, guys. I'm so proud. I'm really trying because I feel like I got really bad. <laughs> All right. So with the oops, with the cilantro, just. I'm gonna use probably like a, a half a cup. I always do heavy cilantro because of me. Mikhail. Me. Me lovey. I love cilantro. And I don't know if you guys noticed too, like we, we have our cilantro always in water in a cup in the fridge. It keeps it green versus having it stand in a bag. I'm actually gonna just do a little bit more. So I'm gonna trim some off. And we rinse it, well, I rinse it right when we get it at home to get off like all the dirt. You do? Mm-hmm. And then I put Yeah, it, I totally do that too. And then I put Every it, single time I rinse it. Every single time. I'll rinse it and then I put it in a cup with water just so it stays fresh because we go through so much of it. And she thinks it's a plant that she's growing. Yeah. So, You're so what, can you lift your, there you go. And so now that I got the herbs, the garlic, the salt and the pepper all grinded up together, I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of olive oil. Every time you shake it, it stops pouring. I know. A third of a cup of lime. And then my lemon, same thing, equal parts. All freshly squeezed. You could also use orange Beach juice, but I like the lime and the lemon because it's more acidic and less sweet. I don't think my pina, my pina colada does not go down. Yeah, somebody said beach. Beach, dang it. Oh, I, I forgot garlic, where is that? Beach oh is plural, means twice? Twice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's so good. Why pina colada is so good? Holy camole. Okay. Holy camole. I got a little seed in here. Boop. And then we mix it up. <clears throat> Do you blend it up at all? No, it just starts to chop it. I kind of want to blend it though, right? Yeah. I have my emulsifier. Let me just use that. Mm. Go into the back cave and we'll get some electronics and the thing jazz is talking about is this KitchenAid thing that's the technical word for it oh yeah the emulsifier i love this thing i'm gonna add a little bit more salt and then actually since we are emulsifying i'm just gonna do a little bit more cilantro and I'm just gonna tear it up. Yeah. Tear it up. Y'all make it feel like the roof is on fire. Burn it up. You know that song? No. <laughs> I think I just hit Kale with some uh, rap and he doesn't like it. <laughs> it doesn't sound like rap. It's uh, like an old song, yeah.
You guys, this is not going everywhere. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Maybe we should just blend it up. We need a, a what's the word? I oh, know it's working. This is great. What's the thing that we need though? Food processor. Food processor. We're gonna get one. Oh my god, my dad's trying to make us go crazy. He said beach again. Is oh that no. the sea salt from the beach? Your drink's almost gone. I know. You have I'm, this you have I'm, to drink this pina colada. I'm starting to feel drunk. <laughs> She's gonna fall asleep in 3.5 seconds after the show's over. No. After we eat. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, it looks a lot better. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. I kind of want to add some more cilantro. I think it's good. Really? Yeah. I'm adding some more cilantro. <laughs> Do you want to just put it in this thing and, and we'll blend it up? Yeah. You guys, sometimes we experiment too I with this stuff. I kind of a little chunky though. I do too, but you can... Yeah, I'm getting this shit everywhere. Yeah, like it's this. just, I mean, it's going everywhere, so... Can I get that? It's fine. Rule number one, always unplug power tools before you start touching it with your bare hands, because you might get injured. That's not a rule. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I definitely think it's a rule. It's no, the rule is always do whatever you want with power tools. <laughs> Even if it might hurt you. But it won't. <laughs> sure. Okay, so we're gonna just put it in Ninja real quick. Here we go. All right, good. That's it. And that's it. And then we put it in here. Let me try. Oh yeah, holy smokes. You put something spicy in there? No. Hmm. You literally were in control of this one the whole time. Something She's blaming me, guys. No, I'm asking. Something tastes spicy. Mm. You guys realize it's 9.37 p.m. Uh, no it's not. Is it? Something says a maid. Beach mm. plus jazz swearing. Oh, shit, doggity dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. I need, I need another deck. <laughs> okay. We got the sauces done. Now we do the panties. I turn it down. The oil. Okay. We need this. Yeah, so when you first do them, you first cook them in the oil that's a little bit not as hot, and then you fry them in a hotter oil. So we're going to do a, a quick flash fry, right? Yep. This kind of gets them soft. Word. Ah! You guys, it hurt. It splashes. Ow! It's the water. Uh oh, it's happening. Ow! Ow! This it hurts. Is, this is funny. Oh, dang. There we go. It's fine now. It's fine. That was close for a second. Ow. You okay, love? It got on my cheek. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna get the press going. Okay. So when you come over here. Getting jazz drunk with beach is making me drunk with power. <laughs> no. Danger, danger. I feel like Tim is in control now of the YouTube. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think he's in control now of, of my dad's YouTube name. Is that what's happening? I think so. <laughs> Do 
Just wait. All right, so how long are we cooking these? Until they get nice and gold. Okay. So they kind of change a little bit color so you could see like the average color, it's nice and white. And these are nice and goldish color. And you just keep flipping them? Yeah. I just flipped them. You just flipped them? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're looking good. You got. You just gotta get them a little soft. So when you- So want, you can smush them. Exactly, because they're super hard already. I remember we had these at a couple different places down in Chicago, and they're amazing. Oh my God, Kibaritos, right? That was your first experience. Remember how much- Yeah, we ate all, everything, we ate pretty ate much everything. We ate so much food, everyone. It was like, honestly- And we went there for a snack. And we literally took a nap afterwards. I don't think we ate for the rest of the day. It was like a two No, we had lunch. dinner reservations. Oh. <laughs> we had dinner reservations that night somewhere. I don't remember where, but. <laughs> and, and we made it? Oh, gosh. I think we did. Remember, didn't, wasn't your stomach hurting because we had a bunch of beef? Oh, yeah. And then before <laughs> I was starting to eat beef again, I killed myself. I don't know what I was thinking. But it was honestly, it was like so worth it because I was so excited for Kale to try like Puerto Rican food. It was awesome. Honestly. I love, I think we can start taking these out, no? You think so? Yeah. You think they're gonna be smushed enough? Yeah, let me try one. All right, we're gonna try one, see how it, how it works. So this goes there and you just kinda go and then you smush it. Yeah! And then let's eat. Cool, so I'm gonna take these out. Maybe a little bit longer. A little bit longer? Okay. You know what? Um, you don't know, it's not bad actually. That was a weird shaped one. Yeah. Mmm, mm, it tastes good though. Oh yeah. wait, we're on the wrong camera. I know how to do this. Do it. Bananas keep mosquitoes away, potassium. Do plantains have the same magical quality? I don't, I don't know. know if plantains have potassium in it or not. I would assume so. You know, this this thing's not working for me. I need this. Where's the, there's the tongs. So, uh... Let's see, yes, that's what it looks like. Yep. Wait, you, you didn't you didn't wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Put it in the top, like there. Blue. And smush. And smush. I wanna smush one. You wanna smush one? Mm-hmm. I'm using a fork to, to release it all because it doesn't completely stick to it. Oop. That was... That's okay. Here. Yeah. Dude, it's okay. We can still use that one. Yeah, I know. Just not that part. You know what? I'm kind Just of put curious. put a little oil on it. That's exactly what I was thinking. Here, let's do this. I got it. Oh. I got it. We're good. Oop. Yes. That one didn't work. I think maybe next time we cut them a little thinner. That's a good idea. That's okay. Well, while Kale is smooshing them, I'm just flipping the bananas while we get them nice and fried. Nice and fried. And then I'm gonna check on my beans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, spraying it, with coating, coating it with this, this oil each time is way better. Okay, cool. Good to know. Was that a foot? A mouse by my left foot? What? Don't be crazy. Okay, I'm turning up the no oil. No mouse. Now. Don't be crazy. Who's saying that? Someone say beach. 
I said beach. Did somebody say beach? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Tim typing. <laughs> oh, Tim. I'm on to you. No offense, Dad, but there's like periods and commas and parentheses going on. <laughs> I can understand. Punctuality? <laughs> I can understand what's, what's being said. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> All right. So I realize I'm out of drink, so I think I'm gonna make a margarita. <laughs> there you go. On to tequila. Does we'll anyone the know drink how? To, does anyone know how to make margaritas? Yes. Mm. Tequila. Tequila. My fave. I'm, oh, we got strawberries. I'm gonna make strawberry margarita. Yeah. <laughs> That was her strawberry margarita dance, everybody. <laughs> I was so sad that yesterday, Kayla and I were talking on the phone and he didn't bring strawberries home. It's because, I mean, somebody forgot to put it on the list. I didn't put it on the list, you're right. And I'm usually very organized about these things and I didn't. I was just like talking on the phone, working, and I forgot to be like, hey, Put this on the order, the grocery list. It's okay though. We went to Costco today and we got a super big one and I'm really happy about it. Punctuation is overrated, Jeff. <laughs> yes, oh my God, Jeff. Speaking of punctuation, I wish I could bring up a Jeff email. Uh oh, what happened? It's always exciting. It's always just like one chunk of words, like one chunk paragraph, no punctuation, and then it's always sent from my iPhone. <laughs> oh, it's like when people apologize for the, like any sort of like grammar like issues. No, you'd have to just, you'd have to just see it. Okay, I, I look forward to There's it. There's like no email format or anything. It's just blah, blah. here's the email. It's usually when I like send you text messages when I'm talking. <laughs> Remember? Yes. Like, I, I, like I'm driving, so I talk on my phone when I'm texting Kale, and then I go back and I read it, and I'm like, "What the hell did I just send you?" At first, it was like alarming because Kale's like, "What are you saying?" And now he's like, "Oh no, Jasmine's driving. It's it's okay. I'll mm -hmm. follow up with her later about it." Okay. May I have the lime juice, please? Wordle. Wordle. Exactly, Wordle. Here's lime juice. All right, so I'm gonna, I put a, a whole strawberry. I'm doing an ounce of Cointreau. Three fourths of an ounce of lime juice. Dang, we drank a lot of tequila yesterday. Two ounces of tequila. And to be honest, I like mine with a little touch of sweetness. Kale's not the biggest fan of it. I like mine more tart and limey. So I'm just gonna do like, a quarter of an ounce of lime or of uh, simple syrup, but you don't have to do that. Yeah, no, I still like a little bit of simple in it. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I like it, but to each his own. Um, the Cointreau is already kind of sweet, which is nice, which is like a orange liqueur, triple sec, essentially. And I'm actually going to do mine up. There you go. And you can still see the plantains are still cooking away. Okay. And as soon as these are done, I'm gonna get the steak going. Oh, this looks so pretty. Look at that, love. Your strawberry. I know. You I'm love it. I love strawberries though. It's one of my favorite fruits. Oops. And then I'm gonna Okay, so these actually scoop my strawberries in there. And take these out. Oh love, look at my drink. It looks like a it looks so pretty. Yeah it does. Mmm. Mmm. So Kale. now we're gonna smush some more. Kale, you should you should try this. All right, let me try it. You should try it. He's gonna be really happy. Oh, it's gonna spill. 
Oh yeah, that's good. That's good, right? Thunder and Lightning, St. Charles. Oh, it's lucky. Gonna you know what? We actually have our uh, our balcony door open, and it feels really freaking good in here. Okay, so we're gonna continue to smush. Continue to smush. Oh, I'm so excited. You know what? I'm actually gonna move these over here. Oh, these look so good. This is perfect. Are they really? Mm-hmm. Yay! Oh, yeah. We are smooshing. Oh. Oh, that one's hot. Fuck. Ow. Yeah, they just came out of the thing. I know. And you swore. Shoot, doggity. Dang, raggedy. Now you're making words up. <laughs> So that's what you have to do. You have to get creative when you're cussing. Shoot, raggedy. Hot potato. These kind of taste like a potato. Mm, yeah, they're so good. It's almost like a french fry. Mm, my god, I love them. Have you ever had plantain chips? Oh my god, guys. Plantain chips will change your life. Yeah, we did it on the show. No, no, like in the bag. Oh. They're seriously so good. Yeah, but we make them. I know, but like not like our long ones, like okay. the ones you buy, like a Lay's potato chips. So now, guys, these are gonna go. We have that camera up already. These are gonna go refry. Oh, and this is a. This is another key thing too, everyone, and I, I suggest this like really big. Get a little bowl of salt, because the moment you pull these things out of the oven, like you it's like a French fry. You want to salt them right away. So, I got a little bowl with salt, and so the moment Kale pulls them out, do you wanna grab that other sheet pan up? Yep, we're gonna throw them in here. Let's line it with paper towel. And we're gonna line it with paper towel, two of them. And then, the moment they get nice and crisp up, Kale is gonna flip them, and then I'll salt them right away. So this is, it's, it's a nice teamwork effort. But honestly, Tostones are so good, and I you always want to serve them. I mean, you can serve them with like a sauce. A big thing you see too is like people put them with like ketchup and mayo, or um, just eat them plain. You can I'm eat apparently them. not allowed to eat these with Valentina. No, because it's Puerto Rican. You don't mix. You don't mix it. You could I, do a mojo sauce. <laughs> you could do which is um, what we made. You could do beans and rice, something saucy. I'm putting Valentina on mine. What are you gonna do about it? Well, you're just gonna have to face the consequences with Mama Nelly. And she gonna be like, "What the hell, Kale?" <laughs> she is. I think I think Nelly will let it slide though. I don't know. I think she will. I don't know. So we're gonna cook these quick, and then we're gonna throw them in the oven so they stay warm. I'm gonna eat this piece. I'm gonna eat this piece. Eat a piece. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. Is it delicious? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you guys, one thing I need to say and shout out. There's nothing better when I cook with my lovey. Yeah. We always make the best meals. And we always make the best messes. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> this is totally a mess right now. <laughs> You might not be able to see it that well on camera, but it is a complete disaster. Yeah, our dishwasher's already full, and I'm like, shoot, dog. Shoot, dog. <laughs> but I'm hanging in there. Oh, my God. These are so good. I want to put ketchup on them. It's like a French fry. You guys, we're going all out tonight. Yeah, we're making we're making like a really hearty meal. We're gonna sleep forever. I cannot wait. <laughs> What's going on over here? Have you seen the pine berries? Pineapple strawberry fused type berries. They look like strawberries. No! Ooh, that's kinda cool. Who said that? That's I have not seen that. You know, I'm gonna do another paper towel real quick. You know, I'll take these. Yeah. These are almost good to go. And then we're gonna quick get this pan flipped around. We're gonna do our 
flank steak. And one thing too, uh, everyone, I did take um, the lid off of the beans and I kind of cranked up the heat a little bit. So just, they kind of cooked down? So they cooked down a little bit. So the sauce is nice and um, thick for, for, for us. So when you dip the plantains in them, the so tostones, they, uh, they have some richness to hold on to. I'm just to. gonna take this off, let it start cooling. All right, and I'm gonna put this in the oven. And now we're gonna move the pan quickly so I can get it started getting hot. I'm gonna do it over you. That's fine. The gorditas, they're kind of, I'm just like. Are they crisping up? Oh no, they're okay. I'm making sure they don't stick on each other. Okay, cool. Okay. We're gonna get this hot for the steak. All right, yeah, so steak. Next week, clove, borscht, pasta, something, something. Oh, that's all Ukrainian dishes? Okay. I'm down. Yeah, honestly, we will totally do that. Um, and I think, you know what, too? One thing I noticed that there's a, a independent owner. She made uh, Ukraine candles that are blue and yellow, which I thought was super oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's donating um, every, everything she sells, which I thought was super, super incredible. So cheers to that, everyone. Like, seriously, God bless, the, God bless everyone in that country right now. So we're doing this. I'm going to do just a little bit of oil in this, because otherwise it's going to stick. And these will cook five to seven minutes per side, the flank steak. So tell everyone a little bit too why I love you, why you, you let it get to room temperature. Why is that so important to us, like whenever we cook meat? Because when you're cooking a steak, you want to make sure, because you're not cooking it all the way through. You the middle is still pink and kind of less, you know, undercooked, really. Yeah. And if it's too cold, you it's harder to gauge the temperature. Yeah. And you might overcook it on the outside and way undercook it on the inside. So that's why you want to let it come up to room temperature a little bit. And one thing too, everyone, that the one thing I've learned about just like working in steakhouses and um, just restaurants in general, whenever you cook a flank steak, you want to make it, um, a temperature up to your preference. So like for instance, like Kayla and I like a medium rare to rare steak. So with flank steak, because Here we it's, go. It's, a, it's a tighter cut meat, there's more muscle tissue in there. You wanna do it at a medium to medium well, because it becomes very chewy. Marinating in the lime helps break it down, make it more tender, and then cooking a little bit more to a higher temp, you think it would make it tough, but in all actuality, it gives you more of like a juicier edible piece of meat versus like a jerky piece of meat. Oh, pina coladas. Aw. Nicki Minaj concert, why? <laughs> love, 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 educational moments. Aw, thanks. Wait, Nicki Minaj? No. That's all that you got from that conversation? Ah! Oh, shoot. All right, so this is this board's good, love. It's ready to go. What? That board. Cool. And now, we are going to get some of our plates ready for plating. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Okay. Can I stir the beans? Yeah. Can you hit three? You guys, these beans smell so freaking good. I love them. Do you want me to just kind of... Yeah. Oh. That pot looks solid. She's looking good. Baba cannot wait to have some. Yeah, he's still... He's like waiting patiently. Our little baby. Okay. So, Levy, I got this. What else can I can I do? Should I? I know we got our our mojo sauce. We bought salsa. I know we we pre we we did pre dice up um, cilantro and jalapenos, everyone. Last night. Last night, um, to kind of help us with this process for plating. 
And I think that's it, right? Can we do a little more cilantro? Cause yeah, of course. I'll do that right now. We're gonna get a little more cilantro going because I love cilantro. Who thinks it tastes like soap? Not me. I'm mixing it in our blend. So we have a nice little- Now a word from our sponsor, Bino. Bino before and there'll be no gas. Bino. <laughs> oh, there'll still be gas. Oh yeah, that's for sure. I oh, did, yeah. um, that's good. It's coming out good? Yep. Nice. So I did a little, we have a little jalapeno and red onion blend right here, which is like looking really good. Really sharp. Oh yeah. Let's wait till we turn this thing in two minutes. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. I know, I can't wait to like just inhale all of this. <laughs> Honestly, like, there's one thing that closer, I took away from see this. Rachel, Ray, Ray, Rachel Ray. And Rachel was, Way? Rachel Way. <laughs> Who's Rachel Way? Rachel Ray, and it was smell vision She had smell vision She she said that it was the best thing. Should we flip it? Not yet. One minute. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah. Looking good, love. Looking good. So who's ready to eat? Me. Me. Yep. I'm so ready. I'm so freaking hungry right now. Like. All right, I'm flipping it. Woo! Look at, oh yeah, look at that chart. Oh yeah. That looks beautiful. And see? you guys can see all the fibers. So like this is the way that the the muscle goes. Which is super cool. And you wanna, act, you wanna cut it against the fiber because flank states, and act, it's kind of a stringy piece of meat. It's just muscular, there's a lot it's of- It's very like, muscular. If you don't cut tissue. it right, it's gonna be hard to eat. So if, if you cut it this way, it's gonna be really hard to eat. If you cut it this way, it breaks all those those fibers and it's way easier to eat, but it's also very, very tasty. Oh my God, so tasty. And you know what, to be honest, never be discouraged about cooking steak in a pan in your side of your house. You know, like if you have limited, tools and resources there's nothing wrong with cooking it on the stove top and then yeah because look at that char you we're still getting on it you just got to get a pan that's non stick get super hot have good ventilation your house is going to smell like meat for a day cut it on the angle yeah on a bias true you are so right i cut it on the triangle <laughs> shut up <gasps> more <laughs> violence you guys you never drink your soda i'm drinking my soda <laughs> Kale is silly. He really, he's pretending all. I'm a very nice fiance, right, lovey? Yes. <laughs> very nice. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>, dang. <laughs> Making me look bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we gotta blend this again. Yeah, you do. You want some? Nobody said beach in a long time. Nobody did say beach, but. Steven Cooper, Alea. Alea posed this, that's my sister. Is there tequila in that soda? Mm. No. Actually, no. <laughs> There's not. Oh, shoot. That's kind of overfilled, love, sorry. No, it's good, it's all right. Hey, cheers again to an amazing meal. That we almost get to eat. Oh my God, I cannot wait. We almost get to eat it. It's gonna be so good. All right. All right, I'm gonna lower these beans. Mm. Yeah, these beans look beautiful. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna scoop out the bay leaf. Oh, it's hot. 
May I? Yeah. There's another one in here that I gotta look for. Oh my god, those beans are so good. I know. There it is. Mmm. Yeah, that's sauce. I think it's good. You think it's good? I mean, it's still a little soft. Yeah. Should we finish it off in the oven? Nope. Oh, this looks really good. You guys, it's gonna be amazing. I think the best thing about all of this is that. Did she just say, Alea is my sister? What you mean? Wait a minute. When that... are we all getting a condo at the beach? Yeah, and then the fire alarm went off. Stephen Cooper. I don't know. Stephen Cooper, who are you? That's my question. Stephen. I'm just kind Shush. of poking it here. Yes. Oh, there she is. Who? <laughs> Alea. Stephen Shush. <laughs> mm, I'm oh. curious. Oh, wait, wait. Do your chicken head. That's how I know he's part Latina. No. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go it? back to the steak now. <laughs> what was it? We were all hanging out in the yard. It was you, Mama Nelly, and I. And we, we were just being silly. I think we were in summertime. We were drinking wine, eating probably pizza. And Kale did the chicken head for the first time. And, and then that's when Nelly like I'm good at chicken it. head. <laughs> he did this. Ooh, girl. Well, you gotta do it. But you gotta say the ooh girl. Ooh girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. Do that again, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> it is priceless. It's winning. almost time to end the show. <laughs> no. The steak is pretty much done. Yeah. Cool. I think we can take it off, no? Yeah, I'm gonna take it off and let it rest. Let it rest? Okay, cool. I, I put um, this board over there because it has the angles on it. Cool. All right, so. We're gonna move the cam. Ooh, look at this babe. It's attached, it's attached. Watch it's yourself. Attached. Sorry, thank you. This beautiful piece of meat. Oh yeah. And. Let this rest for a couple minutes. We're gonna get our gorditas out. Watch out, it's hot. You got it? We got them. Oh wait, should we line it with something underneath there, Lovey? What? Should we line it on this? No, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. This so, is where we're going to plate the gorditas on. Once we chop the meat up. So, the nice thing, that's why Kale puts it in a squirt bottle, guys. Because we are going to fill it a little bit, too, which I think will be cool. Um, what I can do is, too... Oh yeah, that looks good. Can I have a little piece? Yeah, get in there. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. I'm gonna get some to barley. Pause. Oh yeah, he likes it. Approved. Of course he does. <laughs> well, Kale is cutting that. Oh yeah, up. look at that. I am gonna actually. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna cut all of it right away. Serve the beans in a pot. All right. Mm. So we normally we would put cheese on this, but we're not eating cheese right now. I think we actually might. Thank God I'm not cleaning up that place. No kidding. Yeah, it's kind Me of. Me either. <laughs> so now we're gonna take one of our gorditas, and we'll get a. What do we want? A seven. Cam seven. I think we'll have to set the table over here, Lovey. It's all good. So now we kind of open the pockets up. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. And we throw some of the meat in there. 
We stuff that in. And then we put some of this in there. Don't mind me, I just keep eating it. And then you put them down. May I assist more? And we keep doing the same thing. Repetition. And they're hot. Don't cut your finger off. Your finger. There we go. Oop, that one broke a little bit. That's it's okay. fine. It broke a little bit. It's all still very, very edible. Oh, yeah. And delicious. Oh, my God. Is it like unreal, like bomb.com? Yeah, this is going to be real messy. Oh, but see, that's when we have the best meals. There we like go. We, we got three of our gorditas down there. Well, let's do five. Five? Just, well, five doesn't fit. Well, we, can, we can kind of... Okay, all right. We'll do yeah. five, guys. We're doing five. Let's go. Let's go wild. Might have to re-slice some of these guys. Because we put them in the oven. Oh, and they, we just, they kind of resealed a little bit. Just a little bit. It's no big deal. No big deal. So they're kind of like tacos, right? Yeah, it's just kind of more panini style. Oh yeah, so that looks awesome. That looks incredible, love. Wow. Okay. Okay. And now we have the avocado, which you will see. And I'm just gonna touch it right here. And this can do like this. We're gonna put some limes in here. And that is perfect. Look at that. That looks awesome, love. Wow. Look at that. And now Jazz is gonna do some of her stuff right here now. So I'm actually just putting the tostones on a plate. So I'm adding the tostones and I'm just honestly laying them like that on the side. Oh my God, the steak is so good. And yep. that's that's it for the tostones. It doesn't really need much much anything else, you know? Nope. Okay. And then... Can you see that again? Zoom in. Oh, yeah. That looks incredible. I'm so ready. I'm like seriously like jumping oh, yeah. out of my socks. I'm ready to eat. Okay. So that was pretty success. Now we got beans. Oh, beans are on the table, I'm sorry. What's going on here? Looking good, looks wonderful. What are we charging for the dish? <laughs> I know, no right? Kidding. Okay, well, I'll, I'll find a way. Let me shift it over. Yep, let's see the beans. Beans, beans, beans. And then... You can do me one favor and hit the three. Yes. I'm going to shift over, move it over. Okay, I'm coming over. Three. And there's the gorditas. I put them backwards. Oh yeah, I love you. Look at that. I am so ready. There's our sauce Ugh. for the tostones, beans. Mojo sauce. Yes. <sighs> there it is. Garlic special sauce, the mojo sauce. Did you zoom in the mojo sauce? Yeah. And there it is. You're, wa you're watching the delay. Look over there. Oh, yeah, sorry. I got it now. Okay. And if Jazz will hit number two. Two. That's gonna do it for us for the oh, evening. It's it's gone. No, it'll be back. <laughs> you guys, we were so good too. It's gone. Oh, there we go. Okay, 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 cool. So, thanks for watching this evening. Oh, pina colada. Pina colada. Margarita beach. now, because that's it. 
Puerto Rico and Mexico made it a success oh. tonight in Franklin, Wisconsin. Oh yeah. It was so good. Thank you guys so much, seriously, for being a part of this and uh, watching and having fun with us, having a beach time. <laughs> what are you making for dessert? Brian, are you bringing dessert over? Mm. Bring it over, we got plenty of food. Oh my God, please, yes. I'm kind of craving, ooh, cops. Cops, mm -hmm. Sunday. Yep. Hot fudge. Hot fudge. We'll take two. No, cookies and cream. Yeah, that's yes. it. All right, friends, we'll see you next time. Hopefully we have some fun little highlights we'll post. Yes. But make sure to follow our Instagram, at Mise en Place, M-K-E. It's M-I-S-E-E-N-P-L-A-C-E. No, we're still. M-K-E. Oh, no, we're on this camera. Oh, yeah, you're right. Have you been looking at that camera the whole time? The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wow. Wow. Like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Send it to your friends. Seriously. Please, guys, yeah. Just send them a link. Say, hey, just click this. It's no yeah. big deal. Once we hit 100 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. We are. We're going to put together a little, like, home cooking package. And we're going to send it off to a subscriber. So... I think we're at like 60 something. So tell your friends, subscribe, watch our videos. We just do this for fun on the yeah. weekends, but it'd be fun to get to that 100 mark. So yeah, triple we, digits. We love you guys. How about Puerto, Puerto Mexican Easter? Ooh, that sounds awesome. Yes. Beach, beach, beach. All right, you guys have a good <laughs> night. We're going to get this food because we're love hungry. Love you all. Thank you. See I ya. Everyone, the lights just died. Oh, okay. No.